Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Biologic Science News. Today I want to talk about a really wild study that was recently conducted by researchers at Northwestern University and the University of Chicago. To keep it brief, they used a novel mix of compounds to regrow healthy, vascularized bone in specific areas. The study used the mixture to heal a hole in the skull of a mouse. And although the technique could theoretically be used on humans, they say it will take years of development before that becomes a reality. But don't let that discourage you. The process is simple, and it's so effective that I really don't see how this technology won't be pushed into human trials as soon as possible. Alright, so a little background. When someone breaks the bones in a limb or gets a disease that affects the bones, treatment is usually pretty limited. The options available are maybe some experimental stem cell treatment that's rare and expensive, or more frequently it's just a bone graft. A bone graft is basically a bone transplant. Bone tissue from your own body or the body of a donor, like taken from your ribs or your pelvis, can be shaped and transplanted as needed onto the broken bones. The general idea is that the transplanted bone will fill in a large break or hole, like a pulverized section of femur or a skull fracture. The bone graft is literally cemented into place by metal parts like screws and wires, and over time, the bone graft fuses with the native bone. Unsurprisingly, bone grafts are extremely painful. The act of removing bone tissue to get the transplant in the first place is painful, and the act of attaching it to the damaged area is also painful. I mean, it literally involves wires and screws getting drilled into your bones. Furthermore, healing from a bone graft can be particularly uncomfortable, with swelling and inflammation, as well as potential nerve damage from all the invasive surgery. As if that wasn't brutal enough, the graft itself may not even attach correctly. As with any other transplant, the bone graft can be rejected. While this is less common if the graft is your own bone tissue as opposed to that of a donor, graft rejection can still happen, and it brings with it pain and risk of a really serious infection. But this new technique is great because it bypasses all of the pain and mechanical interference of the surgery involved in a typical bone graft. The researchers first took osteocytes, or bone cells, from the skulls of all of the mice in their trial. All of the mice would be receiving their own cells, so it's a form of auto-transplant, and it's a smart step because it reduces the chances of rejection. These extracted bone cells had their genomes altered so that they overexpressed a protein called BMP9, which is important for the growth of bone tissue and even more importantly, for the development of the vasculature necessary for the tissue to stay healthy. I discussed the importance of vascularization more in the Science News episode about spinach being converted into human veins. Anyways, the altered cells were then mixed with a hydrogel that gave them a kind of structural integrity, and the complete mixture was placed onto the damaged areas of the skull. Take a minute to recognize how easy this process is. Instead of a chunk of bone needed for a graft, you just take a few cells. They get modified to be extra growth happy, and then they get incorporated into a hydrogel, which is like a thick paste. This mixture is then applied like paint on a canvas to the broken bones. The BMP9 proteins promote bone growth, and they also promote the development of vasculature channels within the emergent bone tissue. The end result is nothing short of amazing. The bone cell paste filled the holes in the skull of the mice with a really high quality bone tissue. The bone growth was confined to just the fracture, which means there isn't any abnormal or malformed bone growth. The new bone and the old bone were smoothly integrated together, which means there wasn't any major scar tissue. The entire process healed the bone fracture significantly faster than other methods. Taken all together, the evidence suggests that this new method for growing or regrowing bone has tremendous potential. As the lead study author said, they showed a proof of concept, and I quote, that we can heal large defects in the skull that would normally not heal on their own. And he cites the novel mixture of bone cells, BMP9, and hydrogel as a completely new way to treat bone fractures. If this technology becomes approved for use in humans, you can expect to see it used on everything from cosmetic and reconstructive surgery to car crash victims. <laughs> <laughs>